Hey guys, it is Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday, you guys. Hope y'all are having an awesome day today. I, um, not sure if you saw my video yesterday, my Beezy Tarts haul. In that video, I was feeling like poop. <laughs> I did not feel good yesterday. Um, so happy to say that today I'm feeling much better. Um, went to bed super early last night and I woke up at 11 o'clock this, well, I was going to say this morning, but actually 11 o'clock this afternoon. Um, yeah, I woke up feeling so much better. So yay. <laughs> and as promised, I am here today with an all about the empties for you. Um, so I have said that starting um, January 2023, I am going to be bringing my empties to you weekly instead of monthly. And I think that will help me. Um, I can go from doing a four-part empties to a one-part empties. <laughs> I think it's just going to be good all the way around. So I'm really excited to get this one started. Um, so since I am going to be moving um, to weekly empties, my weekly empties it's just going to be anything that I went through that week. It could be body care, candles, wax, room sprays. So um, I have a little bucket where I put all my empties. And so whatever's in there is what you're going to get. And it looks like this bucket this week is mainly wax. Um, there might be one room spray in here, but let's just get into it. Here we go. All right. I went through a snap bar from American Made Wax Co., um, this was in Tonga, sweet potato pie and coconut milk. Um, so I have said many times about American Made Wax Co. Um, when I placed my order with her, um, I kind of went into that vendor like blindly. I didn't really know much about it. Um, hadn't really seen a whole lot of hauls. My main reason for placing an order with American Made was because the day that I went in to look at her site, everything was marked 75% off. So I was like, uh, okay, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> um, so I've had like, I would say hit or miss luck with that vendor. Some things have thrown really well for me. Others have been incredibly light. This one was a light one. Um, I really didn't get much from this. I mean, if anything, I got maybe a teeny bit of the coconut milk, but I didn't get any of the sweet potato pie. So this one was kind of a light one. Ugh, big lots, yeah. <laughs> I emptied out a um, clamshell from Big Lots. Now I will say some of these um, were like partially empty. So I didn't like empty out the entire clamshell this past week. You know, it might've had just a couple of cubes left. So I do want to say that not all of this was like a complete empty. Some of them were, you know, kind of like ones that I just finished out um, last week. This was a clamshell from Big Lots in Harvest Hot Toddy. Uh, yeah, I hope you were able to catch my empties in December. Um, I went through a lot of holiday fragrances from Big Lots, love them, love them, love them. I can't wait till next holiday season when I can stock up on more. I was so pleased with my Big Lots melts. That one, this one was kind of like a mold apple cider scent. It was so good, so, so good. All right, back to American Made Wax Co. This was another snap bar in Monaco, toasted hazelnut. Um... This one was okay. Um, it wasn't like so light that I didn't get anything from it, but it also was not like strong enough that I could smell it. Like in order to smell this one, I had to be right over my warmer. And I kind of felt like that's how a lot of my um, scents were from American Made. If I was like right next to my warmer, I could smell them. Um, this one was... Uh, this one was like a little bag of like little bitty pieces in Hoggle, which was sweet, creamy, delicious butterscotch candy and fresh baked bread. Now this one was really, really nice. Yeah, this one was good. Um, one of the stronger ones I had in that little collection. Um, I got the fresh baked bread. I got the butterscotch. It was 
creamy. It was really, really good. I had that going in my kitchen and loved it. This was a bakery bag that I finished out from Dexter Pours in Sugar Cookies. So I am just going to assume that Dexter Pours is no more um, because I can't find them anywhere. Their Etsy page is gone. I can't find their website. So I'm guessing that they are no more, which makes me very sad because I only got to order from them once. And what I did order from Dexter Pours, I loved everything. This was incredible. Um, and yeah, they... <laughs> did not like cheat you on these bakery bags. This thing right here had, I wanna say maybe like a dozen, like full size little cookie melts and they were so good. They were decorated with little sprinkles and it was the richest, creamiest sugar cookie. It kind of reminded me like of those ones that you can get at Walmart, like with that frosting on the top. So good, I loved that. All right. Oh, I went through a lot of American Made. Here's another one. This was a little two-pack in Chippers, which was salty and savory chips dipped in creamy milk chocolate. I remember um, <laughs> when I saw this one, the first thing that popped into my mind was there was a time, probably several years ago, when... Um, I don't know, I guess it maybe was like Ruffles or Lay's. They came out with chocolate covered potato chips and my family went insane for those because anything with salty and sweet, oh. And I was thinking this was gonna remind me of that. And again, it was a light scent, so I really didn't get a whole lot from that one. Um, American Made, <laughs> this was in the scent Hey Ass Butt. <laughs> Um, didn't really get it for the name, but I got it for the scent, which was Vermont maple syrup and cocoa puffs. This was a little snap bar. This one was really good. Another, um, strong one from American Made. And basically, yeah, what it said is what you got. You got that, um, like really sweet and sticky maple syrup and then that extra sweet chocolate cereal. So this one was a really sweet one, but, but I really enjoyed that. That was good. Uh, that Smell Good Shop, this was a six pack in a uh, customer blend, which was zucchini bread, cream cheese icing, and Celtic Moon Spice. Uh, I love that Smell Good Shop, and I'm so excited. I placed an order with her last week, um, so I have an order coming soon. I, she is in my top three vendors, without a doubt. This one was really nice. I love her zucchini bread. I love her Celtic Moon Spice. If I remember, I don't think I got a whole lot of the cream cheese icing in this, but it was still amazing. And the six packs, for me at least, I could get by with one of those in a warmer and get great performance. This was a sample shape from the Burning Mitten in Thick Dough. Um, and I will say the Burning Mitten is slowly making its way up to um, my top three vendors. I have um, an order from her that I need to film for you guys uh, probably in the next couple of days. I am really, really liking her stuff, really enjoying her stuff. This was sugar cookie dough, peanut butter, peanut butter cookies, sugar cookies, and peanut butter fudge. Um, yeah, this one was good. I had this going in my kitchen, and it was. It was just like a really thick, ooey gooey peanut butter cookie loved it i'm kind of picky when it comes to peanut butter scents i like them um but there are some vendors that i like their peanut butter more than others so as far as peanut butter goes it's just kind of like a hit or miss for me it really depends on um, the vendor uh this was a clamshell from tuscany in vanilla cinnamon brulee vanilla cinnamon and allspice this one was good. I mean, I do love my Tuscany, but I wouldn't say this was anything like spectacular or out of the ordinary. It was just your really good, but typical cinnamon vanilla scent. 
this was a clamshell Huntington home from Aldi. This was actually part of their November or like October or their fall collection from last year. This was Thankful, Grateful, Blessed. This was nice. Oh, this was so nice. Kind of forgot how good that smelled. I love me some Aldi. Aldi, I feel like Aldi and Big Lots are kind of like very similar in that, you know, I don't think people would think, you know, wax from an Aldi or a Big Lots would perform well, but they do. And these little clamshells, they retail for like $1.89 and they throw like a champ. They are so nice and strong. This was a really good... Um, how would I describe this? Kind of like, um, you remember that, I think it was Yankee, was it Home Sweet Home or something? It was just um, like kind of, or a welcome home, was that it? There was something that Yankee had that, I think it was, I don't remember. It had home in it, <laughs> but it's just something that you put on and it just, yeah, it makes your home feel very welcoming. There was a little bit of sweetness in this, but more spice. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that one. All right. I have a scent shot here from That Smell Good Shop. This was an Ichabod Crane, Creamy Pumpkin, Toasty Coconut, and Pumpkin Crunch. Oh my gosh, this was so good. Um, I love That Smell Good Shop's pumpkin oil. Oh, yeah, she's got a great pumpkin. And just, I want to say maybe in the past few months, maybe last year, like in the fall, I kind of began to experiment with pumpkin and coconut. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be on board with that, but I love it. Anything with coconut and pumpkin, yeah, is a winner for me. And this was so good. Yeah, you definitely got the creaminess in this. Um, it was so, so, so good. Um, I love these little things. I will always continue to buy these from that smell good shop. In fact, I placed an order with her a couple of weeks ago, um, where I like bought a ton of these. I haven't gotten it yet. I can't wait to get it in the mail. These are so little, yes, but they are strong. And sometimes, in fact, I can't remember a time where I ever had to use a whole one of these in one of my warmers. I can get by with cutting these in half and get amazing throw. This was from Wicked Essence. Uh, what was this? I think this was, yeah, two little gingerbread shapes. I started going through this uh, in December and finished it out um, this past week. This was Christmas Calories Don't Count, Snickerdoodle, Sugar Cookie, Cake Batter, Ice Cream, I've only ordered from Wicked Essence once, and everything that I've gone through, I have loved. Been very nice and strong. Um, this one was, was really, really good. I wouldn't say it was necessarily, like, super strong. Um, you know, sugar cookie, cake batter, ice cream, sometimes those can be a little bit light. I got a little of the snickerdoodle, not a lot. Um, snickerdoodles, I would hope would come out a little bit um, more spicy. This one didn't have a whole lot of spice, but it was really still um, nice and creamy. So yeah, enjoyed it. Uh, this is a clamshell from Oak and Rye. Uh, Oak and Rye is at Kroger along with my Tuscany. This was in Dutch apple bread. I've had this one for quite a while and finally just decided to, you know, to try it because when I smelled this one in the store on cold, I couldn't really decide how I felt about it. Um, because as far as apple scents go, I'm like team, you know, apple spice, apple cinnamon. Um, this one being like the apple bread, the only thing I can compare this one to, it was a little bit along the lines of farmhouse cookies from, um, from Walmart, is that Sensationals? Yeah, this kind of kind of smelled a little bit similar to Farmhouse Cookies, and I did not think I was gonna like Farmhouse Cookies when I first smelled that one, and that ended up being one of my favorites. So I did, I enjoyed this a lot, and it did. It, it smelled just like a a loaf of apple bread, like with little chunks of 
of apples. It was really good. And oak and rye, they are nice and strong. Another one from oak and rye, this was spiced pear cider. Um, this is another one that I started emptying uh, back in December and then finally was able to finish it this week. This was so good, so good. Pear, I am really coming around to pear scents. I love me some pear scents. This was amazing. Um, yeah. And it was kind of fun to kind of branch out from just like apple cider, apple cider, and then kind of get a little bit of a different feel, a different dimension with the pear cider. It was so good. Okay. Um, back to Tuscany. I This is a repeat purchase for me. Um, this was part of their limited Halloween collection. And then I guess after Halloween, I went back to um, Kroger and they had these like on a clearance rack marked down. This is in Monster Cookie. Oh my gosh. This is baked sugar, icing, and vanilla. I love this scent so much. Sometimes with Tuscany, I do have to use two or three cubes to get you know, the, the strength that I want. Other times with Tuscany, such as in this scent right here, one cube is all I need. This is so strong. It is like the sweetest um, sugar cookie you've ever smelled or baked. <laughs> okay, back like, uh, what was that other? Yeah, the Dexter Poor sugar cookies, how I had said with that like frosting on the top. This would be like one of those sugar cookies with extra sweet frosting. I, oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it. It says limited edition, so I'm not sure if these are going to come back out, but if they do, I will get more every year. It's amazing. This was a um, little bitty clamshell, of, of the ones that go for like 98 cents at Walmart. Mainstays Cashmere Mahogany. Uh, it says wood, amber, and vanilla. So this one, <laughs> when I smelled this in the store, I was like, okay, Carrie, this is so like not you. But when I smelled it, it just, um, because when I bought it, I bought it like back in the fall when it was kind of cold outside. And this just gave me like cozy vibes. And then I was like, it's small. It's only 98 cents. If you don't like it, it, you know, it's not like you're losing a lot of money. So I did. I bought it and I melted it on a very cold night when we had a fire going in the fireplace and it was not half bad. Maybe I'm, you know, going to come around to scents like this, but you know, it's not like I stocked up. I bought one because I wanted to try it. So it just made me realize that maybe I'm not as opposed to scents like this as I thought. So we will see. Might give them another try later on down the road. All right. Uh, I went through a mini tart from Kay's Creations. This was in Irish Coffee Cake. Kay's has been another hit or miss vendor for me. Um, some things have done really well. Other things I couldn't smell at all. This um, was a mini tart, as I said, was able to cut it in half, get two melts. I really enjoyed this. Um, I wouldn't say I got Irish coffee cake. I mainly just got like a, just a plain cakey scent. Um, I really didn't pick up any, well, let me try that again. I really didn't pick up on any coffee in this, but what I did get, I liked, and it was nice and strong, so enjoyed that. I have two here from that Smell Good shop. This was a scoopable. Guys, you know how I feel about her scoopables, and I've got a lot of scoops coming in this order um, that I placed not too long ago, so I'm so excited. These scoops like just make my heart so happy, you guys. <laughs> Um, this was in Lex Luthor, which was apple cider, fallen leaves, and frosted pumpkin. And it's just, it still blows my mind that this thing was emptied out. Um, well, it was completely emptied out this past week, but I've had this scoop for several months and 
yet there is still the strongest smell in here. Like it's so strong. Her scoops are insanely strong. If you have never ordered from that smell good shop, let me just stop right here and say, what are you waiting for? You've got to place an order with her. If you have ordered from that smell good shop, but you have never ordered her scoops, guys, take my word for it and try her scoops. You will not regret it. You won't. You will not regret it. This was so, so good. I feel like all of those scent notes came out in this. The apple cider, the leaves, the pumpkin. It was amazing. And again, I've said it before with her scoops, less is more. And because of that, these will last you forever. All right, another little mini shot from that Smell Good shop. This was Freddy Krueger, coffee, butterscotch, and vanilla cream. Oh, her coffee, you guys. I, I just feel like whenever I talk about that Smell Good shop, I'm like, oh, her coffee is the best. Oh, her scoops are the best. Oh, her pumpkin is the best. I mean, she she does her all of her scents so well. Her coffee is probably one of my favorite coffees, like, ever. This was so, so, so good. It was like a cup of coffee with butterscotch creamer. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. All right. This was from the Pioneer Woman. Uh, Pioneer Woman, you can get at Walmart. You know, they are a little on the pricey side. This is like, what, $5 and 60 cents. I mean, it's between five and $6, but it's a three ounce little 10. So, you know, you would spend, I guess, that same amount of money for a three ounce clamshell some places. So, I mean, it's not like insanely expensive. Um, and when you do get your 10, there are 10, 10 little pieces and all of her, um, wax is in the shape of a rose. So you got 10 little rosettes in here. And this was in the scent maple shortbread cookies she does put the scent notes on here sugar cane maple vanilla bean and shortbread this was awesome and i everything that i've gotten from the pioneer woman has been strong last for a couple of days my only i guess criticism would be when i do go back to walmart and i want to stock up on some new scents i haven't seen any new scents come out in several months so when you go it's just the same old scent. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe she'll put out some new scents soon because this was so good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And that is it for wax. And then I emptied out or finished emptying out a pumpkin pecan waffle room spray from Bath & Body Works. It is no secret that this is my favorite scent of all time. Um, I know a lot of people they like kind of do so much pumpkin pecan waffle in the fall that they burn out on it and then they don't want to have anything to do with PPW for the rest of the year. Not me. I could enjoy pumpkin pecan waffles 12 months of the year. I love it that much. Um, in fact, I have a pumpkin pecan waffle candle that I am enjoying right now. It doesn't matter. It could be 90 degrees outside. I would still have pumpkin pecan waffle going on in my house. It's just, it's just my like comfort set. It just makes me feel good. It makes me happy. Um, yeah. So I cannot believe it. I'm done with my weekly empties. I'm at 23 minutes. I think the weekly empties are going to work so much better for me, probably better for you. <laughs> so that is it for this installment of Weekly Empties, and then we will do it again next Saturday. So thank y'all so much for clicking on, being a part of my channel. If you are not already a part of my channel, I hope that you will uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and um, yeah, I really enjoy being on this wax journey with y'all. So I hope y'all have a great rest of your Saturday. And um, I will see you soon with the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.